Hey everyone. So, a little update. My laptop has been having some trouble. Basically, it only works when it's plugged in, and it can only reach up to a certain percent. Right now, I do believe it's at about, uh, 15%? Maybe even lower than that. What I want to do is replace the battery. So, I bought this battery on Amazon for about a hundred bucks, and I'm going to show you how to replace it. If you do have the same laptop, you can come along for the ride. Anyways, let's get into the teardown. So let's shut her down. My laptop decided to update a little bit earlier, which was frustrating because I don't want to risk damaging my computer if the power goes out while it's updating and it bricks. Thanks, Microsoft. Alright, now that it's shut down, let's get to tearing it down. Alright, let's unplug her and get her ready for disassembly. Alright, just so I don't scratch my desk, just gonna put this mat down. No, it's not that big, but eh, good enough. Alrighty, so the only tool we're gonna need right now is a screwdriver and two different bits. So I have a Torque 5 screw here and just a Phillips head here. All right, so the screws on the outside are Torx. So I'm just gonna unscrew these first. The Torx head. All right, last screw. This is the eighth screw on the bottom of the laptop. All right, we got that off. And let's open the back panel. All right, so the battery's down here. Uh, there's also the SSD. I'm not gonna be replacing that, that's fine. So. Now we're going to switch our screw heads to the Phillips one. If I can grab it. There we go. And there are six screws on the battery, I believe. Here, 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 and here. Oops. Dropped my screwdriver. I got screwed. screws out. Okay, so now the battery's unscrewed, now we just need to unscrew the connector. So if you can see here, there's a little metal panel. Uh, this holds down the battery connector. So there's just two Phillips head screws here. We can just unscrew those. There's one. Just be a little bit more gentle than I am. I'm kind of in a little rush for no reason. Let me take the second screw off, and then we can take the panel off. This little panel right here. One thing of note, make sure you organize your screws. You don't want to get them mixed up. All right, now we can take the connector here. We can pop that off. And the last thing is there's tape here uh, that normally secures the battery in. Uh, you can just peel that off. three different pieces, I believe. Yep. Once those are off, you can just remove the battery. And if you can see, the battery is slightly expanding here, so that's not the best thing. So I'm just going to put this somewhere where it won't get in the way. And just take out my new battery made in China. <laughs> Perfect. So here's the package for my new battery. So as you can see, it looks quite similar to my old one. All right, got that 
the sticky stuff on, put the battery in, connect the connector. There we go. Let me screw her in. Next up, we screw the battery screws in. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm just going to put the cover on, but I'm not going to screw it in yet. I just want to see if it works. hates me. Okay. Uh, where's my charger? It's plugged into my phone right now. Alright, let's turn it on and see how it goes. And the battery is charging, 48% available. Alright, I'm gonna let this sit and charge and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Hope I don't have to buy a new laptop, because that's gonna be a whole different problem. Alright, see you in about two hours. So I've been using my laptop for about eh, three or four hours, and so far so good. It's at about 50% battery life without needing to plug in. So. I guess we can call this successful. I don't need to have it on battery saver when it hits 50% battery, so that's a good thing. And I can finally take my laptop out without worrying about needing to plug it in. Now the estimated time for the battery is still a bit off, but after a couple days of use, it should calibrate back to normal. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. This was a little bit of an odd video. I know not too many people will have this laptop model, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.